Hello everybody, Sergio Gomez here from Chicago from Art Next Level Projects and I'm here at Intersección Arte Contemporáneo Gallery in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico and I'm with no other than curator Margaret Faloni who is going to give us a preview of the show that opens tomorrow here in the gallery. Old friends and colleagues. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, hello everyone. This is the night before the opening of the Art Walk here in San Miguel de Allende. And this particular gallery is um, exhibiting three different shows. One, is, which is our most important show, obviously, are the <laughs> paintings of our own Sergio Gomez. The other show is called Foto Septiembre, where many museums and galleries during the month of September do photography shows. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this particular show has photographs by five uh, artists. One is the Frenchman Philippe Perrin, who's been uh, photographing scenes here around Mexico for several years. Why don't we Why don't we uh, show the audience a little bit of the works as we talk about sure, it? Sure, great. Hello, we have a friend from Turkey joining us in. Oh, great. Right wonderful, now. wonderful. One of these days I have to get to the Turkish, to the Biennale in Istanbul. Oh, there we go. Hi from USA. Hello, everybody. Okay, so let's start with this piece right here. This is from... Okay, this piece is by Spencer Tunic. Mm -hmm. For those of you not familiar with his work, Spencer Tunic is that madcap photographer who undresses people all over the world. He's yeah. done um, naked people in Tiananmen Square in Mexico City, main square with over 5,000 people. He's done it in Berlin. And he's done it just about all over the world. And this is mm -hmm. a job that he did last summer here in Mexico, here in San Miguel de Allende. Wonderful. So let's keep moving this way. Sure. This is Jose del Rio. Jose del Rio is a very gifted photographer who works a lot with a commercial photography as well as art photography. Is he from Mexico? He's from Mexico City. This uh -huh. work that we just passed is a job that he did in Mongolia. Wow. And this work here was a series of photographs he did for Televisa mm -hmm. about scenes uh, in Mexico. Okay. This is the desert of Gesso, Gesso mm -hmm. Desert, in northern Mexico. And so as you can see, it's quite, it's beautiful. quite sensational. Yeah. The next uh, photograph is by Daniela Edberg. She does some very conceptual work, and she's famous because Daniela knits or crochets and then inserts these works into her photography. Which this I is a field of flowers, and the flowers are brains. Brains wow. and children playing in a field of brains. Hmm. And we had uh, last year a chance to see some of her work in Chicago exactly. during the expo as well, so it's really it nice a to see it. show called uh, Border Crossings of Emerging Artists, and some of her work was in that show. Absolutely, this is a, this is a beautiful photo. I think it's one of my favorite ones from yeah, the photo exhibit. This is a, again another photographer from Mexico City, Tatiana Lanz. Mm -hmm. This is a photograph of Lower Manhattan while the Twin Towers were still in existence. Mm -hmm. And this is a self-portrait of Tatiana. Now is Tatiana also from Mexico? She's from Mexico. From Mexico. Mm -hmm. She now lives here in San Miguel, but she's from Mexico City. Oh, wonderful. Tatiana Lanz. And this last is by the Frenchman, Philippe Perrin. Okay. And Philippe's work is always or almost always about solitude and man's place. He becomes mm -hmm. so little and unimportant in the immensity of the landscape yeah, in the world. Beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah. Wonderful. So how did you go about the selection of the pieces for this show? Well, because I know the work of all these artists, and I purposely wanted five artists whose work mm -hmm. was totally different. Okay. They approach photography from a different point of view. Okay. Um, and so I thought that would be a much more interesting presentation. Well, it's a beautiful exhibit. And then let's talk about some of the sculpture works that we okay, have here. Okay, here too. in the passageway mm -hmm. is an exhibition called The Magic of Clay. This is a young sculptor who was also in that border crossing show Absolutely. in Chicago last year. His name is Francisco Esnaira. And he's just 26 years old. And he does wonderful. these wonderful pieces. We call them the pill heads, where you start with people who over-medicate, mm -hmm. and this is the final results. Right. But this his work is, is quite sensational. This so is this that sort of a series where one well, follows worked, the other? Or? This particular one, yes. He, yeah. he does yeah. often work in series, but not exclusively. Okay. This next work It's kind is, of a nice transition of decay. 
Well, that's it. It comes from this beautiful face, uh-huh. and all of a sudden it starts transforming right. until this is what happens when you over medicate. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. This work here is by an artist always from Mexico City. Uh-huh. His name is Rafael Perez y Perez. Which one? This and he, this one here. Oh, this one. He's a romantic, and he, he does these beautiful waves and oh, these okay. boats with these... 18th century figures mm-hmm. sailing away into the new world. <laughs> this work is by Luis Halpert, okay. also from Mexico City. This is Mother and Child. Oh, wonderful. It's a wonderful piece, yeah. How about the, the double hands? Hands, yeah, and the hair. Wonderful. And the sculpture pieces look so beautiful, with, made with the light. That well, with the really natural nice light, it's very yeah. beautiful, yeah. This work is by an uh, artist from Guadalajara. His name is Sergio Garbal. Okay. Who is equally prolific as a magnificent painter as well as a sculptor. It's beautiful. And it's all clay, correct? All clay. And you know, Mexico has something like 10 different clays, uh-huh. depending on the region, from white, okay. pure white to black. Oh, wow. So you have all these different colors of clay, which is quite interesting. This is a beautiful piece right here. So is this sort of a couple type of, uh, are they a, a kind of a pair? Yes, it's ma- it, well, it's man and woman. Okay. And this is the, um, that wonderful sculptor called Rodrigo de la Sierra, mm-hmm. who sculpts always this figure, which is his alter ego. Mm-hmm. And it's all about men's uh, um, problems in life. And his and name is very, Timo. Demo, Demo, yeah, and right. it's very tongue-in-cheek, and he usually works in bronzes, but he did this clay piece for us. That's fantastic. It's a beautiful piece. So tell us a little bit about the, the character Timo himself. Timo is, he calls it his alter ego, and everything about him, he does very gentle criticism okay. of today's society. His work looks like very playful and childish, but uh-huh. behind it, there's always a little hidden message. Absolutely. This is Timo moving walls, hmm. overcoming. Exactly. Yeah, the symbolism is great. And we hope to see and he him used in the, Chicago. And he, I hope so. He used the different clays. This is mm-hmm. the white clay from Zacatecas. Okay. And this is the normal clay that you find oh, throughout. Wow. So it's not painted? It's not no, 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 that's it. Wow. And this, of course, is the very famous here and in Europe, mm-hmm. Javier Marin. who uh, next month opens a major show in the Palacio Iturbide of his clay pieces, mm-hmm. but they're major, huge, and in San Ildefonso of the bronze pieces. Okay. So, so it's going to be, and between the two, there's like a four block mm-hmm. distance that they're going to be the mega, big, big bronze mm-hmm. in the street, okay. leading from one space to another. But wow. he very kindly made this little piece for us. For, for the show. He, he found the time to create it. So what was the process of selection for the, the clay again, exhibit? Again, again, you know, I'm so sick of seeing clay shows here in Mexico where inevitably you find mm-hmm. bowls and pictures. <laughs> and, uh-huh. and I thought, well, that's very pretty. And it's part of the arts and craft movement here. Right. But, you know, there's got to be more to it than that. Mm-hmm. And so I purposely chose this. Another artist whose work is missing because it was sold. Okay. And it's the Polish artist that's lived for 30 years in Mexico, Zawery Wolski. Okay. Um, so that, of course, is not here in the show, and uh, there were several other pieces that have sold, but okay. I'll gladly, there's another artist, Maribel Portela, who's in the other room, mm-hmm. which we'll talk about okay. later. Okay, well, why don't we go that way? That's wonderful. Yeah, okay. And this gives a great view. Into so I purposely chose these artists because they're very different, and they're, yeah. but they're doing art, art. They're doing mm-hmm. real sculpture. Mm-hmm. And not yeah. just the little bowls and the usual pictures that you see in these clay shows. I didn't want that. These are very strong pieces. Right? Very strong pieces. Some are very romantic, like mm-hmm. Louis Halpert's. Others are extremely strong, like um, Garval or Paco. Even Paco, exactly. Well, let's, Paco. Go, let's go through this so yeah. we can see the rest and of And then the other artist is Maribel Portela, who's a brilliant artist in clay and is taught in China mm-hmm. and in Europe. Yeah, look at these pieces. So tell us a little bit about these. This is columns. amazing. These are what she calls her flowers. Okay. 
And um, she usually presents them in large groups. Mm -hmm. There were four, two have been sold. Okay. Um, they were, you know, put together. And she does these forests of flowers. They're a combination of trees with flowers on top. And this is the white clay from Zacatecas. Okay. So this is, and she does it in various pieces, as you can see. And there's a steel pole mm -hmm. in the middle that comes up. If you can take it close. Yeah, to this, it's just these are just floral. absolutely beautiful. That's wonderful. Are so these part are the, of a larger series. This is part of a large. Well, she does these in groups of like twelve. Okay. I chose four for the exhibition. Two were sold, and um, one of these was sold. There were four. I do four and four. Mm -hmm. And um, this piece, I'm amazed it's still alive because people <laughs> kept rubbing this penis like a good luck, good luck holder. <laughs> Somebody needs to buy it. Then. And here you have the work, the bronze work uh -huh. of Rodrigo de la Sierra, right. always that Timo personality. This fun piece is mm -hmm. called My Opinion. <laughs> this is what he thinks of his opinion. <laughs> it's a very playful piece. Very playful piece. But again, uh -huh. it's got its little dig. Exactly. And this is Gabby? This is Gabby. She's the backbone of this gallery. <laughs> Absolutely. And in the back, we in have... In the back, this is Rodrigo de la Sierra. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, God, that's being brought up. These paintings are Santiago Corral. Mm -hmm. Santiago Corral is this brilliant uh, figurative artist who does both the human figure, he had a show that just opened last week at the Kunst House, magnificent landscapes, and of course, this is a still, still life this is series. Fun. And this work was is going piece. next month into the... Museo de Hacienda in Mexico City mm -hmm. for a group show of um, Natura Muerta, Still Life painting. This is a fantastic painting, not only in scale but also uh, the technique, the, the, technique, the painter, the aspects. And it's too bad you can't see it obviously here, but yeah. um, the, it's thick with paint. Mm -hmm. This is all work done in palette. It's just absolutely magnificent. You can practically can Want taste. to put your finger in it exactly. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. An amazing. I'm, I'm gonna back up so people This was a dinner party time. in someone's house, uh -huh. and uh, he just photographed it. Instead of doing it when everything was pristine and beginning of the dinner, no, he waited until the dates were dirty and that's, everything that's was that's was great. finished. Yeah. Great. So now on this last gallery right here. Now on this last gallery, <laughs> we are opening. <laughs> The show of that multifaceted <laughs> artist from Chicago, Jose Gomez. No, no, yeah. And we've just finished hanging the show, and we already have people coming in here for a game with this particular piece, mm -hmm. the bleeding, bleeding border, because it's so apropos with what's mm -hmm. going on in the world today. And what I find so interesting about this piece is that it's been treated like a map. Mm -hmm. it's fo it was folded and then unfolded, and you have the map. Of all the states along the southern border of the United States where you have the immigration problem. Right. And it's painted in such a way that it actually feels like wet blood. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing piece of work. Here we go. So I think I have chosen well. You have. My yeah. own. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and it's funny because I met you uh -huh. as a curator. Right, that's right. And only afterwards was I able to discover you as an artist. That's wonderful. And it was a very, very good discovery. Thank you, Mark. So here in the second room, we have... More paintings by Sergio like Gomez. La figura humana, right? And you did a wonderful selection of the pieces. Uh, let me, I'm going to turn this around so you can see it. Right, but, uh, no, you you made you made a selection of the work based Absolutely, on the website. Absolutely, because I wanted this room deals with man mm -hmm. and the very spiritual connection with mm -hmm. man, and I think the works uh, speak for themselves when you see them. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's a pity that you cannot actually see them live because there's a you're missing here you're the missing. depth. Right. Yeah. The, the depth. depth is a tremendous depth in this work, especially in this particular piece. This is an amazing work. The other side, instead, mm -hmm. deals more with the immigration problem. Right. And there are two small birds here that have to do with it. These little birds that are perched on the barbed wire, and they can fly in and out. They can go. They are free. Right. This is about freedom. Also, the birds in this room. 
This is about freedom. And this, of course, connects again with the Bleeding Border painting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, Marcia, you're a wonderful curator. You're really beautiful. I enjoy yeah. doing it. I really enjoy doing it. I'm so glad you could come down. Absolutely. For the show. And I look forward to working with you again. Let's do another show. Absolutely. After border crossings, we, <laughs> we have to come up with another idea. Uh, uh, yes, before we say goodbye. But I want to uh, thank everyone who's watching. You can watch it again. Send the link to your friends. This show opens tomorrow, so if you are near San Miguel, come and visit us. Come and visit we'll us, absolutely. Here. And it will be up two months. Okay. It will be up until the end of October. And the opening is on Saturday. Tomorrow, Saturday from 5 to 8. 5 to 8 p.m. The Art Walk. Absolutely. We would love to see you here. Uh, where are we at? This is the La Aurora? This is La Aurora. It's an uh, ex-Manta cotton factory dating 1900, turned into an art center. Wow. And it houses art galleries, art studios, design centers, wow. antique shops, cafes, bookstores. It's an art center. Great. Well, thank you very much, Mark. You're it's welcome. It's been my pleasure. Bye, everyone. Come visit. Thank you so much. See you later.